I want to show you guys how to test your battery and your alternator with this unit right here that I picked off Amazon. It was only a couple bucks. It was like probably like eight, nine dollars, and it works perfect. It works great. Um, it basically shows you if your alternator is bad. If the alternator is bad or the alternator is good and it's charging the batteries, what state that your battery is in while it's fully charged, uh, medium charged or low charged, and this lets you know if the battery is okay to charge before uh, starting the car. <laughs> Some mosquitoes out here. So, I'm going to connect these, uh, these uh, clamp connectors. Right now, it's showing my battery is at the middle, the middle state, showing that it's at medium charge. It's probably because I was, you know, running the lights in the interior, so it's running at medium charge. But the battery is like two years old now, and I do run a system. So, but uh, once I turn on the car and the alternator turns on, once the alternator turns on it should show that the battery is full and it should show that it's charging so this is an easy way for you to just check your battery um see it showing that it's okay always check before charge if it's really low or if it's uh if it's okay so this is showing that it the battery is okay but if it shows that it's low then there's something wrong with the battery and uh yeah and if this doesn't light up that means there's something wrong with the battery but this battery is good so it's saying that the battery is okay to charge and it's good to go so right now what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna start the car i have a remote starter okay so now it's showing that it's low because the light was on in the inside so right now i'm gonna start it from the inside Up. Car starts right up. Been having a couple issues with my remote starter. And then we're looking to get something else. Okay, so right now it's lit up. It's showing that the battery, the alternator state, is showing um, green, showing that it's charging the battery. The battery state went from low, well, medium or whatever to full state. So now it's at full. Now it's showing full charge, and it's showing that the battery is okay. So if the alternator was bad, it would have showed alternator fault, stating that the alternator was no good, and the order of alternator needs replacing. I'm gonna put a link in the description for this, for this uh, device that I'm using. It's really, really cheap. It's really simple. It's good to just have, just to check all your cars, just so you, you know, you don't get stranded or you don't get stuck. I definitely recommend you guys picking one of these up. It's super cheap. It's a great investment. You check your car like once every month. And it'll let you know the battery state, whether the battery's um, medium or low or full. Or um, let you know if the battery's okay to charge. But right now, as you can see, the car started. The battery state is full. The car's the battery is full and it's showing that the alternator is good so the alternator is charging it above the voltage that it should be like 14.5 over 14 volts so showing that everything is good it's charging it's okay full state so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in the car and um i'm going to turn on like the air conditioning and the music and everything and see how it holds up. <clears throat> oh, music. Turn on the air conditioning. Turn it all the way up, the AC. And let's see. It should still be in the green because the alternator is charging it. Even with the AC on, as you can see, the AC compressor is on. Plus, both of the pulleys down there spinning. So the AC compressor is on, the AC is on, and the alternator is still at good, and the battery state is still at full. So that's showing that the alternator is keeping the car running, 
the alternator is good and it's working the way that it should and it's uh kicking everything off as you can see when the alternator is on i mean when the um ac compressor is on both fans need to be on to cool the engine and the ac compressor so you get good air conditioning so this is just showing that even with things on and the load on it that it's still working pretty good if you want you can get someone to go in the car press the gas pedal to 2000 rpm here and you can stand in front of the car and check to see if it stays on the full mark to show that the alternator is you know doing the extra job that it should but uh this is basically what you need to know this is basically the simple steps just something as simple as this can you know stop you from having issues in the future and as cheap as this is you don't have to go to AutoZone or any of those other places to get help you can just do it yourself if you have any questions feel free to ask don't forget to like and subscribe thanks Bye.